where do I start? Rex Mercy have gained automatic promotion back to League One after an incredible season. Back-to-back -back promotions has been achieved for the first time in League Two history by no other than the mighty Reds, Rex AFC. I'm speechless, you know, watching the game there live was something special. It was really, really special. And, you know, for a fan who has been only sporting Wrexham, you know, since as long as I can remember the 2012-13 season, you know, I was fortunate enough to not experience any turmoil and stuff that the club did go through. And Alex Hamilton came in, Gutterman, all those names that you do not want to be hearing about, obviously took over Wrexham AFC when they were in League One, where we've just been promoted to and took the club all the way down. And now, after all those years of pain, we are finally back where we do belong, as we have secured a top three place for automatic promotion. So before we get going in today's video, if you're looking for all the best Rex Mercy content on YouTube, this is the place to be. Let's go for 21,000 subscribers before the end of the League Two season. Of course, we're not gonna be in League Two for very much longer. So yeah, you'll only see a couple more videos coming from me when we are in League Two. So like I said, make sure to get down there as well. I want to try and hit, I don't know if it's possible. Let's go for 1,000 likes. If we can hit 1,000 likes on this promotion video, incredible that would top the weekend off but you know this video is just going to be unplanned i'm just going to be talking from my heart about the day out what it means to the club and what it means for the fans who've been there through thick and thin have been through hell and now have been rewarded with these absolutely golden times under two incredible owners. So yeah, today we beat Forest Green Rovers 6-0 in what was probably our best performance of the season. Wow, wow, wow. We were going into this game relying on Milton Keynes Dons to either draw or lose to Mansfield Town and Barrow to draw or lose to Gillingham and results very much went our way. MK Dons took the lead early on, that sort of, you know, got people a bit agitated, but Mansfield went on to win 4-1 and Gillingham won 2-0 I think it was or 2 or 3-0 in the end so yeah Wrexham all we needed to do today was focus on ourselves and that's exactly what we did we could only win that game and hope for other results you know around us to go for us and you know we did the job emphatically you know Forest Green Rovers not a great side I think they might have been the worst side I've seen comes the race course ground in League 2 and they were worse than a lot of teams we saw in the National League I would not be surprised in the slightest if Forest Green Rovers were to get relegated this year but what a performance on Wrexham's side though we hit six goals in our penultimate home match and we hit six goals in the game that saw us promoted to League One. What a way to do it. We went up in style and this means, of course, we are just two promotions away from the Premier League. It's going to be a different kettle of fish this year in League One. There's going to be tougher opposition. It is going to be very, very hard. And, you know, I don't think us as fans, of course, the lifelong fans have been watching this for a while. We can understand that we can't be expecting what we're expecting this year. You know, we had a good team in League Two this year. We were expected to get playoffs this year. Automatic promotion, a lot of fans are expecting. I think, you know, with the calibre and the quality of the squad that we do have, automatic promotion from League Two was very, very possible. If we're looking at automatic promotion to League One next year, it's unlikely as it stands. I think, of course, it will come with summer signings. We'll see players go, unfortunately, but we will see players come in. And I think we'll see some very, very good players come into Wrexham AFC in the summer ahead of our League One season. Like I said, there's going to be some tough opposition. We can't be going into this League One season expecting an automatic promotion. I would go that one step further, but I don't want to be too negative and say playoffs because, you know, anything's possible at Wrexham AFC. But, you know, a top 10 finish as it stands would be incredible. It would be a great first season in League One for Wrexham AFC. But talking about League One next year, the away days that we're going to have are going to be phenomenal. We could have Bolton Wanderers away. We could have Blackpool. We could have Huddersfield. We'll have Rotherham. We could have Stoke City. 2015, we were playing Stoke City. They were in the Premier League. We were in the National League and we were on for nearly the biggest cup set in FA Cup history. And now, nine years on, we could be playing in the same league. You've just got to sit back and admire and just try and process the journey that Rex AFC has been on in the past four to five years because it has been nothing short of inspirational, nothing short of incredible. And there'll be a lot of people out there that are looking at this story and thinking, you know, they've got championship players, they're on championship wages. It's not really that side of things that, you know, makes it so incredible, the story of Wrexham AFC. It goes from, you know, way back early on, from when we had those terrible owners who wanted to build a B&Q on the racecourse ground all those years ago to, you know, the fans helping save the club in 24 hours, we raised something like £100,000. 
and then of course all that happened it went and happened again at Rex Mayo C and you know we've never really got going and someone commented on my video how were Rex Mayo C seen as a sleeping giant of course before this bad takeover that we did have Alex Hamilton and Gutterman we were in League One, we were doing very, very well. We've been in the European Cup Winners' Cup, we've played against some of the top teams. We've been in Division Two, which of course is the championship, and you know, we've struggled ever since we dropped down to the National League. The potential for Rex Mosey is there, the stadium's there. We just needed that extra boost and investment to get the club going again, to gain the belief that Rex Mosey fans once had, and it, it was an incredible sight to see today. 12,000 people inside the race course ground. We've got a squad that is absolutely adored by the fans, a squad full of quality, a manager and his coaching staff that are loved to pieces by Rex Mosey fans. We are so lucky to have Phil Parkinson as our manager. You can doubt him all you want. You can say he's not going to succeed in League One, but I have every single bit of belief that Phil Parkinson is the man to continue taking us forward. He's incredible. He is one incredible man and he's assembled one incredible squad. His signings have near enough all paid off for us. You know, you can doubt his tactics, you can doubt this, but when do you see a manager gain back-to-back -back promotions? Okay, you can say the quality of the squad was there. You know, the money spent on players is clear to see. We've got the facts there. But you're not just going to succeed straight away when you get, you know, a massive squad full of quality. We've seen it before. Managers don't always succeed when they are given the good players. I think a prime example, it can't really compare them, is the national team, you know. Some national teams have all the best plays but don't succeed because of the manager. And we've seen this with Wrexham. Phil Parkinson has come in. He's got everything right. He's got everything right on the pitch and off the pitch in Wrexham OT. We've seen players talking about Phil Parkinson. He is the man. He is the myth and he is the legend. He, you know, is the greatest manager I've seen in my lifetime at Wrexham OT. And I think it'll be hard to top that in many, many years to come. But he's done it. He's done it for Rex Mosey. He's got back-to-back -back promotions. He's come to us in three seasons. He's gained two promotions and taken us up two leagues. He's the main reason we have been given belief, again, amongst the supporters at Rex Mosey. And two people that have pushed that belief to Rex Mosey, of course, is Ryan and Rob. You know, without this, nothing would be possible. Without Rob watching Sunderland till I die, it would not be possible. Wrexham would probably still be stuck in the National League, but I think it is just crazy to just sit and think for a second about how two people can change the lives of tens and thousands of people, the belief amongst the football club, and they've taken us from the National League where we finished 20th in the National League 1920 season to now competing in League One, two promotions away from the Premier League. It just is ridiculous and it still feels like I'm stuck in this mindset where Rex AFC are competing in the National League. I could probably rewind to our last game before Covid came in and interrupted the season. That Eastie game, that nil-nil game at home to Eastie where there was not much belief in the stands. There was thoughts of are Rex Mosey going to get relegated will we be playing regional football next year they were genuine thoughts that we were having at the time and to think we can fast forward now four years in 2024 Rex Mosey have just secured promotion to League One is words I never ever ever thought I would be saying and it is you know it's a dream come true as a Rex Mosey fan I've been supporting Rex Mosey for as long as I can remember as long as I've liked football I've been going to the race course ground up until 2073 we've never seen a promotion at Rex Mosey it's that loyalty that I think really does pay off we've been to Alfreton we've been to these long away games and it's all finally paid off we've seen the thick and thin at Rex AFC and to now being able to sit there next season inside the race course crown seeing us play some of the best teams that we possibly have faced you know in the past decade or so is going to be a sight to behold and I am looking so forward to our League One campaign next year like I said some of the teams that we could be playing are phenomenal and more importantly some of the away days that we are going to have in League One next season are going to be top top tier so roll on league one next year i think on a whole as well the season has been very good for rex mofc you know we came into it we had a shakyish start towards the start of the season it's these small results that have paid off those points that we've picked along the way and of course we've had our defeats we've had our doncaster rovers that was two weeks ago and i remember thinking at the time are we really going to compete for automatic promotion will we get that automatic promotion it's looking less likely now but it's all paid off and we've only got to thank the incredible 11 players that go onto that pitch every single week, put 100% in. Those players, the coaching staff, they wear the badge of Wrexham with 
ultimate pride and they have made us as fans very very proud and they've given us some of the best memories we will ever have and memories we will never ever forget and you know some of the players that here have gained back-to-back -back promotions that just shows you know how hard working this squad is how much these owners care about the club how much they're invested into this project at Wrexham AC. They've been here for three full seasons and to think they've already got back-to-back -back promotions is something really special and it is obviously going to get harder in League One. Two automatic promotion spots and one through the playoffs so I think investments will be made into the squad in the summer and like I said it'll be sad to see some of the players go but I don't think we have any choice if we're being serious about competing again for promotion to the championship then there is going to need a significant amount of investment. I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. I know it's going to be tough in League One next year. And at this moment in time, I'd be happy just to survive. Something I never thought would happen, something I never thought I'd see Wrexham was playing League Two. You know, I never thought I'd see Wrexham get to the EFL unless, you know, suddenly we had a really good blip season like we've had under Sam Ricketts, Gary Mills. But it's been all made possible by Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. And we can only thank them for choosing Wrexham FC. And we can only thank Humphrey Kerr for of course telling him to watch Sunderland till I die and we've we've got to thank Sunderland as well for putting out the documentary yeah I don't know what to say I really do not know what to say anymore you never know what you're going to get with Rex Mosey from sitting in this bedroom here you might remember probably mostly weren't here before of course the takeover but in this exact room looking at the tv that was on that table watching Wrexham AFC through lockdown of course we didn't have a great season under Dean Keats but it was the start of this magical journey it was all started of course in 2021 recording videos and here talking about what's going wrong at Wrexham AFC are we in trouble we're league one we are league one repeat that again we are league one Wrexham AFC will be competing in league one you're probably thinking there's still a long way to go until probably Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney's dream goal which is the Premier League but I was happy to see us in League Two. I never once thought at the start of this season that back-to-back -back promotions would have been sealed with two games to go. I'm glad that promotion has been sealed this weekend because we had two tough games. We had Crew Alexander away, we had Stockport at home. And that Stockport home match is going to be tasty because as things are going, it might be a title decider. We might see a Wrexham AFC v Stockport County final day title decider, which We've seen it before, we've seen Wrexham AFC go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Stockport County in the National League and now we could be going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the League 2 title. So the season's not done yet, there is still a title to be won but we can take the foot off the gas a bit because we've gained automatic promotion and it's been a magical, magical season. I've loved watching it from game one. It seems like yesterday we were playing AFC Wimbledon away, coming back from seeing family straight on the coach to AFC Wimbledon, breaking down on the motorway, not knowing if we were going to get to the game. But it all started there and it's ending here with automatic promotion to League One. It's been a season of ups and I can't think of many downs. Of course, we've had the Paul Mullen injury, Foster retiring. We've had a couple of defeats here and there. We had that sticky patch literally a month ago but yeah it's all paid off it's been an incredible season following the town up and down the country yeah I, i'm speechless i genuinely do not know what to say anymore because this club is just given us some of the best moments and the best memories of our lives and i couldn't think of a better football club to support than rex mfc so rex mfc are back where we belong we're back in league one what a sight to behold i just think as well you know sitting in that ground today um you know seeing a full race course ground seeing players on the pitch playing the performances of their lives winning six nil pitch invasions happening it was something that you know i don't think even i thought was possible you know supporting Wrexham AFC this long I've not really seen that much success we've seen a FA trophy here and there we've seen a trip to Wembley but it really does start to feel like the belief is back into Wrexham AFC and it was you know when they started the takeover but it all seems to be starting to feel a bit real now Wrexham AFC are genuinely a club that are on the rise a club that could be on the next level in the next five to ten years and yeah incredible what an achievement this is congratulations to like i said all the players rob and ryan the staff that have put so much hard work in across the season we can kind of sit back and relax now for the crew alexander away game there's not much pressure going into us but of course we don't want to be losing to these we want to be winning and we want to be staying in the title race 
because come the end of the season if we're lifting the League 2 title I don't think seasons get much better than that so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think of this season what are your thoughts on promotion to League 1 how do you think we'll do I hope you enjoyed all the videos across this League 2 season of course the vlogs did obviously stop in October I think it was but it seems like yesterday they stopped as well this season's just gone like so so fast at the speed of light but yeah you've continued to support the channel and from the bottom of my heart I'm so so thankful for that because I think it was fair to see a lot of people at the start did show less interest in the channel because of course the vlogs are gone that was the main reason why they're here but some of you have stuck on board we've grown even further as well we've gained nearly 3,000 subscribers since the match day vlogs were discontinued so I can only sit here and say a big big thank you for that it's been an incredible season and you will obviously want to see what is going to happen next season in League One so make sure to get down there click the red subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video Wrexham AFC are playing League One football next year phenomenal up the promotion winning Reds